treasure of Whitebeard the pirate. I wonder what Whitebeard's treasure could be. No one knows, Captain. But Whitebeard was a fearsome pirate. I've heard that he could throw one of his legendary flying snowballs from the Arctic all the way to the tropics. Calico Jack once told me that a snowball from Whitebeard landed right on the deck of his ship and it never melted. Remarkable. Here, Captain. This be the spot. Uh, ah! We hit something. Why, there it be! Whitebeard's treasure! Now all we need is the key for that lock. Let me just find the right one. Bluebeard's treasure, Redbeard's treasure... Ah, here it is! Oh, my paws are so cold I can barely feel them. Whoa! My key! Oh! Shiver me whiskers! Captain, a hungry sardine just gobbled up me key! That could make the sardine very sick. We've got to find her. Let's split up to cover more ground. Aye, right, Captain. I'm fine, Captain, but I just took a whale of a ride. What was the meaning of those bubbles you were blowing at me? Well, I can't help it if you crashed into my bubble net. Humpback whales like me make bubble nets so that we can catch a lot of food at once. We're sorry to disturb you, but uh, we're chasing after a school of sardines. Maybe you saw which way they went. No, but I'll keep an eye out. If I see them, I'll send you a signal. That's how us humpback whales communicate. Just listen for this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got it? Got, got it. it! Whoa, there's some krill. Yummy! Hey, gotta go! And the name's Mitch! That little sardine is going to get a big tummy ache if we don't find her soon. Hi, Captain! Octonauts to the HQ! <laughs> We need to track down a sardine who swallowed Quasi's key. Oh no, that could make the sardines sick. I found a school of sardines in the area, Captain. Great work, Dashie. But how will we know which sardine has swallowed the key? Tweak? This x-ray viewer should do the job. Tunip, let's show him. Hide that hammer behind your back. Suba, suba! Very good. We'll need more than one of these X-ray viewers to find a little key in a little sardine in a great big ocean. I'm on it, Cap. Peso, meet us out here in the Gup E. Once we find the right sardine, we'll need you to perform an emergency keyectomy. On my way, Captain. Quasi, Peso, activate X-ray viewers. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. The sardines. Let's go. And now move in closer so we can look for Quasi's key. They're splitting off. You two follow that group, I'll follow the other. Aye, aye, Cap. We have to hurry. That sardine needs our help. Ow! Quasi, none of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. 
Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? Quasi to Captain Barnacles. Do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? Oh, maybe if I send that signal. Oh, sounds like somebody needs help. Oh, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my cup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Ugh, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. You called? Hey, guys. I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on up there. Ready, guys? One. A little more. Two. A little more. your help. And now I've got to catch up with those sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No. Now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys. And I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines. They're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. Hey, Mitch, could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course. Come on, fellas, bubble net. Out of there. Quasi, on my command, I want you to grab her. Hi, Captain. Now! Don't be afraid. We're here to help with your tummy ache. Oh, I'd like some relief. Just hold still. I'm going to perform a keyectomy. Just swallow some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp. Like this. <coughs> oh, pardon me. It worked! Mickey! Sorry it gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. Thanks. Thank you, humpback whales. No problem. Always enjoy making a bubble net. We'll just be on our way now, but uh, will you look after him? He, he has a habit of uh... crashing into things. <laughs> yes, I know. Yo. Oh. Well, Captain, now that I've got me key back... We finally get to see what's inside Whitebeard's treasure chest. <gasps> Tis the legendary flying snowballs of Whitebeard. And look, it's a note from Whitebeard himself. It says, whoever finds this treasure is worthy to use it. Octonaut. Let's do this! <laughs> All right. Say, ah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just a little shy. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. 
Captain. your accordion music, Captain Barnacles, and it really helps this one relax for his medical checkup. Oh, it was nothing. I hope you haven't caught a cold up here in the Arctic. Oh no, we orcas are used to the cold Arctic weather. Yes, you're one healthy orca. Thanks, Peso. Thanks, Captain. Bye. Bye, orcas. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Whew. Six orca throat exams, three fin and tail checkups, and teeth cleaning for the whole pod. What a day. Good work, Peso. But we'd better hurry back to the octopod. With these chunks of ice moving in from all directions, it could get dangerous. It's worse than I thought. Phew, that was close. Captain. I see it. Hang on, Peso. Hey, so, are you okay? I think so. Are you? I'm all right, but I'm not sure the gup is. We need to get it out of this chunk of ice. <laughs> it's no use, we're stuck. What'll we do? Don't worry, we'll get out of this. Let's call the octopod. Professor Inkley. Prepare to meet your match in the game of Pirate Drafts. I've asked. I've got you now. No, it looks like I've got you, Quasi. <laughs> ah, I've been suckered. Barnacles to Quasi. Come in, Quasi. We're going to need some help out here. Sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the Gup E has crashed. Peso and I are going to need some help getting back to the octopod. We'll have to hurry before the Gup E is hit by another giant chunk of ice. It could break the Gup. That's the problem. The Gup E is stuck in a giant chunk of ice. And we can't get it out. Oh. <gasps> Hang on, mateys. I'll come out in the Gup C to give you a tow. I hope you can find us, Quasi. The crash damaged our Gup Finder. And we're drifting pretty quickly. I'm seeing lots of ice chunks, but none with a Gup in it. Better keep looking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I do hope Quasi can find us. Oh, it's getting bumpy. Uh-oh, we're heading straight for an iceberg. Flappity flippers. Abandon ship, Peso. <laughs> Where did the guppy go? Look! Oh no. Don't worry. We just need to climb to the top and break the gup out of the iceberg. Climb to the top? Yes, we can do it. We're a team. Huh. Come on. Yes, we did. Now, the trick will be how to dig our gup out of this ice. Oh, all this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Captain. We've lost radar contact with the gup E, Quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them, but all I've found down here is ice, ice and more ice. What was that? 
sounded like the captain's accordion music. Shiver me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the Orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look! Quasi! I heard your Orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed, and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no, 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 oh dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We Orcas will help you find them. Huh? Oh no, the ice is breaking in two. Peso, jump! Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Hang on! <sighs> Whoa! We've got to stay with the gun. Jump again. <laughs> oh! Peso, use me as a bridge. Yes! <laughs> gotcha! Phew. Yeah, we've looked everywhere for him down here. Hey, what about spy hopping? Spy hopping? What's that? Spy hopping is how we look around up above the water. Yeah, watch me, Quasi. <laughs> well, I'm no walker, but I'll give it the old pirate try. You did it! Well done! Thanks, matey. But there's lots of ice up there, too. Better stay with the pod, Quasi. Yeah, we orcas always stick together. Aye, let's start spy hopping! Avast! I think I see something! It's Barnacles and Peso! We found them! What's happening? Quasi, you found us! I knew you would! Hi, thanks to our Orca pals here! But where's the guppy? Um, up there. It's still stuck in the ice. How are we going to get it back in the water? If only we could tip this iceberg back over again. I reckon our orca friends could help. Yeah, we love ice tipping. Ice tipping? It's what we orcas do to find food. We tip the chunks of ice over. Watch. Ready, set, tip! You orcas can do everything. Now we can get the guts home. I just hope we don't crash into another ice chunk on our way back. Orcas, you know your way around these waters. Can you guide us out of here? Of course. Hi, orcas and octonauts always stick together. And I know exactly how to make the trip a little more fun. Say, ah. Uh... Looks good. Great. Now, can you tell me how many flippers I'm holding up? 
too. That's right. You're a completely healthy fish. Next. Oh, no. Let me take a look at that. Don't worry. My name's Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. I help creatures who are hurt or sick. If you let me bandage that claw, it will feel better. Ah, good as new. These arctic waters are cold. I'd better head back to the octopod and warm up. Whoops! My medical bag. Oh no, I've got to find it. Aha! Just a clam. I know it's down here somewhere. <gasps> a walrus. He's using his whiskers to find clams. <laughs> Maybe he can help me find my medical bag. Oh, thank you. I've been... Mm. Oh, hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a weird clam. Hey, the chief might like that. Wait, come back. That's not a clam. It's my medical bag. Captain. Go ahead, Peso. Captain, my medical bag has been taken <gasps> by a walrus. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Open the octahatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. Um, easy now. We just want to... All right, back off. Move on. Oh, Move on. Well, 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 uh, uh, now, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then, splash, we all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in. And find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Tweak's costume will fool them. If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Uh, must be a new guy. Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... <sighs> That's all you've got. <sighs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody, 
One, two, three. <gasps> now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry, but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. <laughs> That's better. Don't get too relaxed. Aye, oh, hey, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. <sighs> Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish, it's a walrus challenge. <sighs> If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? The medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! <laughs> Careful! Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting Ooh. on my... Intruders! Oh, run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. Oh. Chief, 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 what are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean that strange white clam? That's it, my medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. <laughs> we don't want any trouble, Chief, but that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? <gasps> oh no, his flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. <laughs> if it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... <laughs> oh, my flipper really does hurt. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you could do anything for me? Hmm. One twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right. Here. There. Good as new. Hey. Thank you. It feels better already. I don't know what I would have done without you. And I don't know what I would have done without my medical bag. Now remember, you take it easy on that flipper. I will. And you come back to visit whenever you like. I hereby declare you all honorary walruses. Will you join us in the official walrus cheer? <laughs> Welcome to Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. It's too cold for pirates. But not for my cousins, the Adelie penguins. I can't wait for you to meet them. Aye, me hearty. 
But couldn't we meet them somewhere warmer? Adele penguins don't live anywhere else in the world. Antarctica is their only home. We've come to visit at the perfect time. The chicks have just hatched. And Quasi, Peso and I are going to give their parents a little help. Yeah, what kind of help? Babysitting, of course. Babysitting? Quasi, Peso, to the guppe. Hi, Hi Peso. Peso. Thanks for keeping an eye on the chicks while we swim out into the ocean for food. Mum, Dad, can I come too? I'm not too scared to swim in the ocean. You're still a chick. You haven't grown your seagoing feathers yet. Yeah, Rocco. Grown-up penguins have special feathers that keep us warm in the freezing water. You'll get too cold swimming in the ocean. It could make you sick. Bye, Rocco. We'll be back soon. Keep an extra eye on my Rocco. He's a daredevil, completely fearless. Don't worry. I know the type. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's in the box? Presents for everyone! <laughs> a rock! A rock? That's right. Adelie penguins collect little rocks to build their nests. See? Line up, everyone, and we'll pass them round. <laughs> My name is Flip. And I'm Flap. Oh, but here's a present for you. And one for you. Your little rock is better than my little rock. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, uh, let's see. Here we go. These two rocks are exactly the same. Thank you. Good work, Peso. Captain, there's an iceberg on the loose and it's heading for the octopod. I'm on my way. Peso, Quasi, you'll have to handle the babysitting without me. Yeah, I'll miss all the excitement. Not all the excitement. I'll babysit most of the chicks, and you babysit Rocco. Just Rocco? I can do that with one paw tied behind the back. Flip! Flap! Come away from that ledge. Phew. Ah, <sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco? Where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! Turn and <laughs> what my mum always says. <laughs> Let's swap rocks. I want my old rock back. Why? Because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. I'm flap. He's flip. Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip? Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean, oh, flappity flippers. <sighs> flap, if you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like flaps. I mean flips. You're right. Flappy now. I mean, happy now. Happy! Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you big beaky birdie! You don't scare me! <laughs> See? Now he's coming to get me. Shiver, whiskers. He is coming to get you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was fun. That was close. Rocco, me hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I know. Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi! Cannonball! Whoa! <laughs> I think Captain Barnacles has the easy job today. Urgh. This water is getting rough. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's big. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards... Me! Whoa! Dashie! The Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's a big storm on the way. 
That's dangerous for the Adelie penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Already on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adelie penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup sea. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Penguins, I'm coming to get you. Oh, got you. Two more. Hold tight. Hop on board. And we need it fast. Bandages. Bandages? Quasi, throw me bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, but go! Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss a big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, all right! <laughs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? If he's not in here, then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! I'm too cold to move. will bring them home. And nothing can stop the captain, matey. <gasps> but an iceberg on the beach can really slow him down. <sighs> Not that iceberg again. How will we get home, Captain? Don't worry. The Gup Sea was built to break through ice. Penguins, this could get bumpy. Where's Quasi? Just one more time, eh, matey? Antarctica straight ahead, Captain. Everyone, prepare for ice landing in three, two, one. Everyone ready to get started? 
I am, Captain. I can't wait to see what creatures live up here on the ice. Quasi, you and Peso will help Shellington watch the ice for creatures. <sighs> You'd have to have coconuts for brains to live here in Antarctica. Can anyone see any creatures out there? Not yet. It's all just white, white, white... And red! Shiver me whiskers! There's something red straight ahead! <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! It looks like a waterfall made out of ice. But why is the ice red? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Fire up the ice spy. The ice spy will show us what's under the ice. Ah, vast. There's a lake down there. That must be where the red ice is coming from. The ice is very thick. Oh, the lake must have been sealed under it for millions of years. Who knows what creatures might live down there? Let's take a look. Peso, detach Octo Sled and activate Ice Drill. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we go. Captain, the ice is too thick. The drill can't take it. We're not giving up yet. Send more heat to the drill. OK, Captain. Almost there. Captain, the drill is broken. Aye, but we reached the lake. The drill will have to wait. Shellington, are you ready to head outside and... Oh. <laughs> That's the spirit, matey. Hurry, I can't wait to see what's down there. Oh! Take it slowly, Shellington. One careless move out here and we could be in trouble. Yeah! Oh, secret lake, here I come! Amazing. No one has ever seen this place before. Have you any idea why the water's red, Shellington? Hmm. The water contains tiny bits of rusty iron. That's why it's so red. There's rust in the water. Careful! It would be easy to get lost down here. Octonauts, stay close. Ah, the water is also very salty. And cold! And dark! Ah, I don't think any creatures could survive down here. Sorry, Shellington. We'd better get back to the Gup S. Ah, I might as well take a water sample first. Cheer up, Shellington. We did find this amazing red waterfall. And we learned what makes it red. And we're all ship-shape and toasty warm again. Ah, uh, I suppose so. But I would have loved to have found a creature down there, even just one. It's been a long day. We'll rest here before we head home. Ah, but it's still light outside. Remember, in Antarctica, it doesn't get dark at this time of year. Not even at night. Oh. <sighs> How am I supposed to sleep if it's not dark? Aha! Hello? Huh? Oh. Hello? <gasps> what? I must be hearing things. Maybe I need some sleep. Hello? Over here! Huh? <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! No, not jellyfish. Microbe. Name's Mervyn. I'm a teeny tiny microbe. I'm so small, you can't see me with just your eyes. <laughs> nice to meet you. But where did you come from? From the Red Lake, under the ice, of course. That's my home. Uh, I didn't think anything could live down there. It's so cold and dark. Oh, but it's just right for me. I don't mind that it's cold and dark at all. What about you? Is this where you live? Uh, no, this is the Gup S. My name is Shellington. I'm an octonaut. An octo-what? <laughs> oh, I want to hear all about it, but oh dear. Mervyn, what's wrong? It's just a little bit warm and bright up here. I think you'd better take me back down to the lake. Already? But I haven't introduced you to the others. Oh, hurry, Shellington. <laughs> I'm boiling hot in here. Oh, uh, don't worry, Mervyn. I'll get you home. Uh, 
This ice hole feels smaller than last time. Keep going. I'm feeling cooler already. Uh, uh, <sighs> oh, that's more like it. Oh, thank you, Shellington. Come on, there's so much I want to show you. Well, uh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a quick look around. Right, <laughs> follow me. Oh, you have to meet the others. Others? A little further. A little further. Chomping jellyfish. Shellington, meet the other microbes. There's so many of you. But how do you find enough food down here? Oh, we don't need food. We get all the energy we need from the rust in the water. Yeah, we rust, man. <laughs> Oh, that's Jeb. This is Shirley. Oh, and say hi to Alice. Hi, Manny. Oh, hello. Pleased to meet you. I can't wait to tell the others about you. <laughs> uh, oh, if I can find my way back out of here. Was the ice hole this way? Or was it that way? Oh, that's not good. Uh, Mayday. Mayday. Shellington to Guppes. Come in, please. Help. Huh? Mayday. What was Come that? In, please. Where am I? Captain Barnacles, do you read me? Shellington, where are you? Captain, I'm in the lake. Tiny creatures. Captain, help. Yeah. <laughs> Quasi and Peso, to the ice hole. Octonauts, Shellington is stranded down in the ice lake. We have to rescue him. The temperature is dropping fast. If the hole freezes over, there'll be no way to get him out. Then there's no time to lose. Quasi, you're with me. Peso, you stay here and keep your eye on the ice hole. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> oh, this is taking forever, Captain. I think I know a faster way down. Agreed. On three. One... Two, three! Yeah! No sign of him, Captain. Shellington! Shellington! Captain Barnacles! Did you hear that? Nah, it's just the cold playing tricks with your mind. There it is again. What was it Shellington said? Something about tiny creatures. Follow those voices. Shellington? Oh, dear. Shellington! <gasps> Shellington! Captain! Quasi! How did you find me? We showed them the way. That's Mervyn. He lives down here with all his microbe friends. The cold, dark water doesn't bother them at all. Hello. Hey. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Captain, come in. The ice hole is closing fast. Hurry! Quasi, Shellington, we'd better get out of here. Already? This is the most excitement we've had down here in like a million years. Maybe two. Thanks for your help, Mervyn. Don't worry, we'll come back and visit sometime. Bye. 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 Thank you. Now let's eat some more rust, man. Quick, before the hole freezes over completely. <laughs> <laughs> Peso, lower the rescue line. Ooh. Right, Peso, pull us up. Hold on tight. Driving, Peso. Thank you, Captain. I still can't believe you found actual living creatures down there, Shellington. How many microbes do you think were down there? Oh, well, let's see. Carry the two, multiply by five, about 10,003,062. Oh, no, wait, I forgot about that big one. The squiggly tail. I'm 
so glad you could visit us here on the Octopod, Orson and Ursa. Uncle Barnacles, can we show Peso our new Polar Scout badges? Of course, Cubs. Peso, my niece and nephew have been working hard. Take a look. That's our Starfinder badge. We learned how to find our way using the North Star. And we got this badge for learning how to make a shelter out of snow. But you're really going to like the next one, Peso. The Seaweed Bandage Badge. <laughs> we learned how to make an emergency bandage out of seaweed. And we got to practice on a real live narwhal. Great work, Cubs. There are lots more badges that we don't have yet. And we're going to earn every single one, just like you, Uncle Barnacles. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't have every single Polar Scout badge. You don't? Really? Are you sure? There is one that slipped through my paws over and over again. I remember the first time I saw a walrus in trouble. Oh, my flipper hurts. I offered to help. Don't worry, I'll move. Move along, little polar bear. We walruses can handle this. Whoa! But I didn't give up. My tusk is stuck. I'd be happy to... Get back. Walrus emergency. And that's how it went every time. Just trying to... And so I never managed to earn my walrus rescue badge. But now it's time for you cubs to earn your next badge. This one is for swimming through an obstacle course of ice flows. Let's go! Good luck, cubs! Here's your challenge. Swim through this maze of ice flows in under five minutes. I bet I can do it in four minutes. Bet I can do it in three. <laughs> Here we go. On your marks, get set. Huh? I think somebody's calling for help. It sounds like it's coming from the other side of these ice floes. Come on, cubs, follow me. This could be a real Polar Scout emergency. And these paws are ready for action. Do not be afraid. We are Polar Scouts. And we are here to answer your call for help. We don't want help. We want our mums. Well, perhaps we can help you find your mums. Help us find them. No, no, we want them to find us. That's why we're making all this noise. What are you, anyway? We're walruses, of course. You're too small to be real walruses. Walruses are big. With big, pointy tusks. These are walrus pups. Oh, so they're babies. But we're still 100% walrus. Understood. Where did your mums go? They went to find food. But they've been gone for a really very long time and now we're hungry. Very hungry. Really very hungry. Hmm. Let's see if we can spot your mums out there. Why don't you just go looking for them? We're too hungry to swim very far. And anyways, our mum said to wait right here and not move. So we're not moving. <laughs> An iceberg. And it's moving fast. Our mum said not to move from this ice flow. Well, they didn't say what to do if the ice flow moved. I know what to do. Hey! 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 hey. Cubs, would you sound the auto alert? Octonaut to the HQ. Octonauts, the Cubs and I are on a runaway iceberg with three walrus pups. The pups are too weak from hunger to swim very far. And we got to sound the auto alert. We need to get these walrus pups to safety. Captain, we've located your iceberg. We'll be there as soon as... Uh-oh. Shiver me whiskers! You're on a crash course with two other icebergs. Oh, no. When the icebergs crash into each other, you can all get hurt. 
Fuzzy. Hey, Sue, take the Gup S and catch up to us as fast as you can. And please bring something for the walrus pups to eat. They're really very hungry. Tunip, you and the Vegemals can help me prepare some bottles of walrus pup formula. <laughs> We're on our way, Captain. To the Gup S, mateys. <laughs> up to that iceberg and fast. Ready to mix up some walrus pup formula. Rubble, rubble. Yeah, Iceberg's getting really close. Too close. Move to this side, everyone. No, it's really very close. Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy. Cubs. Watch out! out. Ah, got it. Oh, everyone, move back. Ah. Ah. Barnacles to Quasi. Are you getting close? We're under the icebergs now, Captain. Yeah. It looks like you're trapped right in the middle. And running out of room. Use the ice drill to break through the ice. This scurvy ice is too thick. Turn on the heat, Quasi, so the drill melts the ice as it goes. Heating drill now. That speeds things up. Hold on, Captain! Uh, uh, don't worry. Help is on the way. We're getting really... very squished. Uh, My mum always holds me flipper when I'm scared, and I wish someone would hold me flipper now. Uh, here, take... My paw. Oh, thanks. That's better. Quasi! Need a lift, mateys. Just in time, Quasi. Come on, everyone. Into the Gup S. Activate bottles. And now we need to find their mums. They may have returned to the ice flows by now, so let's start there. Excuse me. <laughs> I think I can help. I don't think so. No, nor me neither. Oh! Easy now. Ladies, I don't like the looks of this one. Oh, here we go again. Mum! 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 There you are, little Otto. Oh, what a relief. Gordo, thank goodness. Oh, are you all right, love? We waited a really very long time, but we were carried off by a really very big iceberg. And then Captain Barnacles and his friends saved us. Huh? He does have that hero look about him, doesn't he? Ladies, how can we ever thank him for saving our pups? Hug! Wow! <laughs> there it is. The Walrus Rescue Badge. Well, well done, done, Uncle, Uncle Barnacles. Barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> you 
these Antarctic icebergs are huge. Sure looks cold out there, matey. It is cold, Quasi. Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth. Its freezing temperatures make it very difficult to explore. Oh, then it's too cold for pirates, that's for sure. Captain, the water temperature's dropping fast. The octopod will freeze up if we go any further. Yashi, bring the ship in for landing. It's time to test out Tweak's latest invention. Octonauts, how do you like the Gup S? Incredible! I designed the Gup S to withstand even the coldest temperatures. So Antarctica is the perfect place for a test drive. It's got a heated ice drill, a special iceberg camera, an anti-freeze system, a hot cocoa machine. <laughs> but that's not even the best part. The Gup S is two Gups in one. It can explore over the ice and under it. Oh, incredible. Octonauts, our mission is to explore Antarctica from top to bottom. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, you're with me in the Octosled. Dashy, Tweak, Tunip, ready for separation? Aye, aye, Captain. You got it, Cap. Operation Over Under begins now. Activating ice drill. It's time for us to go over. While we go under. Tweak, she's running fine. Is everything okay down there? So far, so good, Cap. Make sure you take lots of pictures of any creatures you find under the ice. That's the plan, Shillington. When you're finished exploring, we can reconnect using the ice spy. It's over there on the left. It can detect anything that's moving under the ice, and it should help you find us. Thanks, Tweak. Barnacle's out. Captain, we should be on the lookout for creatures up here, too. Huh, though there aren't many that can live in such a cold place. Everybody, keep your eyes peeled. In the meantime, Let's see what this octo sled can do. Yow! I mean, <sighs> everyone, hang on. Whoa! Ice, ice, and more ice. Uh, well, Captain, uh, uh, I suppose there's nothing to see up here. We better head back to the octopod and warm up, eh? Quasi, we've just got here. <sighs> Aha, there. What is it? It looks like some kind of hole. Octonauts, let's investigate. Coming, Quasi. Just a minute, Captain. Just have to get my tail in here and zip this up here and. There! Uh, Quasi, do you really think... I, you don't want me getting frostbite on me tail, do you? No! <laughs> Little help, Captain. Huh? Uh, there you go. Thank you. Captain, Quasi, come and look at this. It looks like it was carved out of the ice by something very hard and very sharp. Oh, tell you what made that hole, mateys. Was none other than the Ice Fanged Chomper. The what? The Ice Fanged Chomper. Pirate legend tells of a rare sea beast with teeth like razor sharp icicles. The sneaky scallywag swims under your feet and jumps the ice right out from under you. That's why pirates steer clear of Antarctica. If the cold doesn't get you, the Ice Fanged Chomper will. Uh, Quasi, we still don't know what made this hole. We'll just have to... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Captain, look! A storm's moving in, and fast. Everyone, back inside. Wow, we're now further under the ice than anyone's ever been. Any other ship would have frozen by now. The Gup S 
this amazing tweak. Thanks, Dashie. The antifreeze system keeps it from getting too cold. I got the idea from some of the fish that live down here. They have antifreeze in their blood, so they never freeze up. Hmm. I hope we see some of those fish. I'd love to test out the ice-proof camera. If only there was something cool to... Ah! Photograph! Come on, Tunip. We better get that ice-proof camera ready. Beautiful. Oh, thanks. Nice of you to notice. <laughs> We've got to show these creatures to Shellington and the others. Oh, but my camera's already starting to freeze up. Don't worry. The ice-proof camera's almost ready. Uh, Heidi, hey! Out of my way! <laughs> oh, sorry. We didn't see you there, Mr. Sea Star. Sea Star? I'm not just any Sea Star. I'm a superstar. Name's Saul. You didn't see me coming because of my camouflage. Makes me look just like the ground. Nobody sees me unless I want them to. What's this thing? It's in my way. This is a camera. It lets our friends up there see what's down here. You have friends? Up there? Uh-huh. Always wanted to see what was up there. Above the ice. Hey, uh, don't distract me. I gotta keep moving. Gotta warn the little ones. Warn them? About what? Oh, no time. Out of the way. I gotta get going. Fast. Watch yourselves. I'm moving at super speed. Captain Barnacles, are you there? Oh, we're here, all right. Though we can barely see a thing in this snowstorm. Well, take a look at this. Look at all those colorful sea stars. Look at these. Ooh, what kind of plants are those? They're called sea tulips, Peso. But they aren't plants at all. They're animals. Look out. are hourglass dolphins. They're only found here in Antarctica. Ah, there's more action down there than up here in this scurvy storm. By the time we get through it, it'll be dark outside. <laughs> Actually, Quasi, in Antarctica it never gets dark during the summer. You can't tell, but right now it's the middle of the night. Middle of the night? Yeah! Now you're pulling me full! <sighs> There's no time to rest now. If we don't keep moving, we'll be completely buried in snow. Rest? I'm not even tired. The pirate always knows when it's night, and I say it's definitely not... Uh, uh. Operation Under Team, still awake down there? Sure are, Cap. We've moved to a new location, and I'm almost finished. Just one more bolt, and I can put this project to bed. <sighs> and I need to thaw out my camera. It's frozen solid. Heidi, hey, out of my way. Oh, hiya, Saul. Huh? How'd you get all the way down here so quickly? Uh, actually, we've been here a while. It's just a little bit down from where we met you. Eh? Oh, never mind. Look out! I'm picking up speed! Gotta get down there and save the little ones! Save them from what? That! What is that? Ah, no time to sit around talking about it! Gotta go! <laughs> oh. Cap, you gotta see this. We're looking at it right now, Twig. Jumping jellyfish! It's a brinacle! They're very rare and very dangerous for the nearby sea creatures. Shellington, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Shellington, what are we up against? A brinicle is like a huge icicle that drips down from the ice above. Very salty, very cold. 
When it hits the ocean floor, it creates a river of ice that freezes all the creatures that can't get out of its way. How long do we have? This Brannacle's moving fast. We don't have much time at all. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You'd better get out there and help those creatures. You got it, Carol. Oh, Captain. <laughs> Captain, we've got a problem. Our hatch is frozen shut. Don't worry, we're coming down to help. Harvey, it's in disguise. Dashy, tweak. Uh, the storm must be interfering with the radio. How will we find them? The ice spine will show us anything moving under the ice. It's our best chance of finding Dashy and Tweak. Ugh, this hatch is still frozen shut. Dashy, let's see if we can... Warm it up. I'm sending more antifreeze to the hatch now. Give it a little more, Dashy. It might start getting cold in other parts of the ship. The rest of the ship is getting too cold. We're losing power. I almost have it. Hurry. Power failure in five, four, three, two. <laughs> Got it! The ship's temperature is returning to normal. Super, super! Come on! There's no time to lose. Storm's getting worse. Look, something's moving under the ice. It could be Tweak and Dashy. Which way, Shellington? Turn left, Captain. Now to the right. Left. Now right. Jumping jellyfish, it's going all over the place. Whoa. Which way now, Shellington? It's stopped. Come on, everyone. No time to lose. This rope will help us find our way back. Everyone, hold on. Look, there's something up ahead. It's another one of those holes. Hmm. This one's started to freeze over. Shiver me whiskers. Did you see that? You don't think it's the Ice Fanged Chomper? Yeah. It's trying to chomp through the ice. That's exactly what it's doing. But it's not an ice fang chomper, Quasi. It's a Weddell seal. A Weddell seal? It looks like it's trapped. Weddell seals breathe air, Captain. It'll suffocate if we don't break through the ice. Move aside. Uh, ah! I was about to run out of air under there. It's lucky we found you. But what were you doing? Sorry, no time to talk. <sighs> of course. Weddell seals make breathing holes in the ice with their front teeth. Ouch! Ouch! Oh no, something's wrong. Excuse me. My name's Peso. I'm a medic, and I help any sea creature who's hurt or... Have to... Oh, keep chomping. Oh, I can't let it freeze over. Ow! Oh. oh, your tooth hurts. That's why you were stuck under the ice. Mm-hmm. Don't you worry, um... Wilma. Don't you worry, Wilma. I'll have that tooth fixed in no time. Captain, we need to get Wilma inside right now. Aye, but what about her breathing hole? It'll freeze over again. Good thinking, Quasi. Here you go. <sighs> so, we have to get everybody away from that brinicle. Hey, you're telling me! What do you think I'm in such a hurry for? Will you be okay? I'm a superstar, remember? I'll be right behind you. 
Faster! We can't let them freeze. Hold still, Tunis. <laughs> Another. And another. <laughs> Are we gonna save everybody, Dashie? I don't know, but I hope the others get here soon. Now you might feel a little bit of pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, good as new. Huh. That feels better. Oh, thanks, Peso. How long before I can start chomping ice again? I'll just give those teeth a quick clean and then you can chomp away. What flavoured toothpaste would you like? I have tuna fish or squid. I think I will try... squid. Still no sign of Dashy and Tweak. Mm. They could be anywhere under all this ice. Under the ice? Spit. <laughs> Who's under the ice? Some of our friends. And I think you might be able to help us find them, Wilma. <laughs> Quasi, come in, Quasi. How's it going under there? Still no sign of them, Captain. This could take a while. Ooh, this day keeps getting colder and colder. Hey, look! They are up ahead. Shiver me whiskers. How'd you spot them, Wilma? We Weddell seals have excellent eyesight. Come on! Captain, I think we found him. Follow us. Good work, Quasi. <laughs> Hurry, Tunip. Get him to the warming station. <laughs> Captain, where are you? We're right above you. But it could take us a while to drill through this ice. Don't worry, Captain. Wilma and I were just coming up for a breather. Just a little further. Look out below! Yeah! Hang on! This could get bumpy. Captain, look out! I see them. Captain, over here. Quasi, take care of those brinicles. Everyone else, let's lend those creatures a paw. There you go. Remember? Don't no, 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 no time. Gotta get these little, little 
once to safety. Uh, yeah. So, your arm. <laughs> that old thing. We've got bigger things to worry about. Oh me, oh my! Yeah. Hurry up and break you, big icy bright. Looks like you could use a hand, or maybe an ice grip. Close one. Is everyone all right? <laughs> Never better, Captain. Nothing like a little brinicle smashing to warm you right up. How's that tooth doing, Wilma? Jumping like a champ. And you all look much better, too. Oh, thanks. Nice of you to notice. Uh, so? What about your arm? Ah, don't get your ears in a twist. My arm's gonna be just fine. I'm a superstar with a superpower. Superpower? It's true. It takes a bit of time, but sea stars have the power to grow back their arms. Good work, everyone. I'd say Operation Under was a big success. Uh, enough about Operation Under. What's this Operation Over I keep hearing about? Cap, maybe while Sol's arm is growing back. He could come and see for himself. Why not? You mean, oh, up there, now? Octonauts, let's do this. Hot diggity! <laughs> <laughs> Say, sea star. We have some amazing photos of Antarctic sea life, thanks to the new cameras on the gaps, Captain. Excellent, Dashie. And who knows what else we might find today? <laughs> Monsters in the ocean! Swim for your lives! Monsters? Three of them at least! The one I saw was just a giant head with teeth! The one I saw was a giant squirmy sea serpent! The one I saw, I couldn't even see the whole thing! That's how huge it was! And where exactly did you spy these hideous creatures of the deep? Close by! Gotta keep moving! We don't want to run into those monsters again! <laughs> Three monsters! Peso, Quasi, let's investigate. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. And make sure your gup cams are turned off. just saw what appears to be a big-headed monster, exactly like the one described by the first dolphin. <gasps> I just saw the sea serpent monster the other dolphin saw. Ah, just me luck. I haven't seen hide enough fit of anything monstrous. But I do now. It's the big one, mateys, and she's coming right at me. Shiver me whiskers. Let's see what the photos from the gub cans can tell us. That's the monster I saw. Yes, and that's the one I saw. And that big whatever it is is the third monster. Hmm, I'm not so sure there were three monsters. Let me try something. <laughs> It's a crocodile. It's a saltwater crocodile. The world's largest crocodile. It's as big as a bus. And it's a long way from home. Saltwater crocodiles normally live in places like Australia. That's over a thousand miles away. Hmm. It's not unusual for saltwater crocodiles to travel far out to sea looking for food. But I've never heard of one spotted in the Antarctic Ocean. Oh no, he must be lost and freezing. Saltwater crocodiles are reptiles. They stay healthy by moving to different places when they need to warm up or cool down. If they get too hot, they move to a cooler place. And if they get too cold, they move to a warmer place. 
But here in the Antarctic, there's no place he can go to warm up. He won't be able to survive this extreme cold for long. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a saltwater crocodile who is lost and in danger from the icy cold water. Our mission is to find him and take him home. Quasi, peso, to the guts. Remember, Octonauts, this is a huge creature we're looking for. If it feels threatened or scared, it may attack us. Aye, and the way it nearly swatted me gut, that tail could crush us like a tin can. It would more likely chomp you with its massive jaws and teeth. Keep a sharp lookout, me hearties. That crop could be lurking anywhere. Below us, behind us, or above us. Whoa! And he might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octahatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The croc's attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Hey, sir. Stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashing, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain, it's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Dashy, activate steering wheel. patient doing, Peso? He seems fine. Let me get a bit closer. <laughs> he just tried to chomp me. Don't worry, Peso. Saltwater crocodiles snap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot. It helps them cool off. <laughs> oh, uh, he may start thrashing about as well. Now you tell me. If the croc is thrashing because it's too hot, then cooling him off should calm him down. Dashy, lower the octopod temperature, cold as you can get it. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> the cooling plan is working, Captain. The croc is going back to sleep. Octonauts, it's time to enjoy some chilly indoor temperatures. <laughs> Thick warm, warm sunlight on a tropical pirate's cove. We just need to keep the octopod cold a bit longer. Once we reach warmer waters, we can return to normal temperature and let the croc 
wake up naturally. This is an ice way to travel, eh, Quasi? Australia, Captain. The crook's home is just a few miles ahead. Captain, the saltwater crocodile is moving a bit. I think he's waking up. Dashy, you can return the octopod temperature back to normal. We'll leave the octopod here and use the guts to tow the croc the rest of the way. All right, octonauts, let's bring this big fella home. Boy, what's all this? What do you think you're doing? Oh, but easy, we're friends. Here to help. Help? Then why am I tied up? Looks like you're trying to capture me. Nobody captures a salty. <laughs> Octonauts, abandon guts. You can tie me up, but come any closer and I'll chop you down. Please, let us explain how you got here. We found you in the Antarctic. You were lost and freezing. And so we brought you back here to your home. Yeah, I do remember being lost. Big icebergs everywhere I turned. So cold I couldn't stay awake. I guess you really did help me out. We help all the creatures of the ocean. We're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Salty. Well, Salty, you have a bruise on your snout. May I bandage it for you? Yeah, go on. And no chomping, please. No chomping. <laughs> there. Thanks for all your help, fellas. We all need a helping paw now and then, Salty. Even crocs and pirates. <sighs> That sun sure is getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Taya. Uh, didn't mean to scare you, but uh, you know I'm awful hungry all of a sudden. Uh, you should probably leave now, mates. You don't have to tell us twice. Goodbye. I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go!